starts off on a big way here with Creighton and Butler, who, like you said, just played a few days ago out in Omaha. Now you got to turn right back around and come to Indianapolis. Here is Love. 40 pass ahead. Another chance at the door for Love. A little bit outside off the left foot of Radke. And as you take another look at it, that's exactly the type of thing that I was talking about about five minutes ago where he, Talia Summer with a nifty move. Spent some time early in this season playing overseas in Israel up to Katie Soderstrom. To Isker. Isker keeps her feet. Oh, and she just misses the opportunity. As the ball trickles past the back line outside the sticks. Oh my goodness, what an opportunity for Butler and what a break for the Blue Jays. That ball getting back behind the line, getting oh so close. Up ahead, Martin with the save. That was on target. Hannah Luke's left foot guiding that ball to the top right corner and Emma Martin, a great save. Standing in there, standing tall. As Paul mentioned, expertly, they are much more aggressive in this second half than we've seen. Here's Love. Let's it fall to Manrique. Centering pass. Martin can't get there. Just missing the header. It is Creighton. I need the number here in a second. That was Jenny Grissom. Hard to tell with the white on white. Had to pull the handy dandy binoculars that Paul Frischner <laughs> provided me. What a chance for Creighton here. Yeah, right. Right at the doorstep to make it 1 0. And I'm. Farrington, her kick shanks away, and this is going to be a corner for Creighton. Yeah, they're first of the match, so we haven't seen Creighton what they might do from this spot yet. Butler, they have had six corners so far. Mundiri had come in for Grissom. Now here is Grimaldi. Over to the six, and it's a header in! Joel Love gives Creighton the lead! An incredible effort on the first set piece for the Blue Jays. Perfectly timed. Creighton leads 1-0 in the 72nd minute. And isn't that exactly what we've been saying all day? That's an opportunity where you put the ball right in the center of the spot, right in the middle of the area, and you just give your offensive attack an opportunity to score. Emma Martin, a little unsure of where she... Headed out by Creighton. Talia Summer retains it. A shot by Jalix. Off the crossbar. A chance for Butler headed out. Whitaker. Over the top of the cage and almost. And Terrell breathing a sigh of relief. What an opportunity for Butler. From distance, got a great shot on it. Able to square up her body. Got a good look, even a second opportunity on a rebound. But they survive, and yet again, as we tick down toward the end, Kartovich, who made a penalty last week at Corcoran Field at Xavier, will get us started. Can Kartovich continue her luck at the PKs as she had last week against the Musketeers? The attempt and the first goal of PKs belongs to the Blue Jays. The junior from every France, the transfer from University of Northwestern Ohio, the NAIA program, all whack during her time there. Has done very well for the Jays. Three goals on the season in an attempt here to lead by one. Gets 
And if you're Terrell, have to shake that one. Now Emma Martin. And Kasanjin sends it through. His third shot successful. Blue Jays leading. Blue Jays leading 3 2. Oh, Becky. Becky Dean. The junior from Parker, Colorado. Gets it past Martin. The opposite direction of where the keeper jumped. Creighton leads 4-3. And now the pressure really starts to build, Joey. Pressure now is Ansley Atkinson, the fifth year player, has the chance to give Creighton the lead. Emma Martin awaits. Right side, it's in. And Atkinson pokes it through, gives Creighton the lead. And now the season rides right here on this shot. Can Butler? An incredible sequence, bar down. Her foot oh. just skimmed it. <laughs> Paul. Come on, man. Wow, the foot. I didn't even see that in real time. That took the replay to see the foot was what ended up keeping the ball out of the goal. Oh, my goodness. What a play by Martin. And now Butler with a chance to move on. It is Claire Farrington from Nonanville, New South Wales. Over the goal. Creighton stays alive. <laughs> Terrell did not have to work too hard on that one. Just a misfire. Unsuccessful. This <laughs> is dramatic. Shooting for the Blue Jays, seven, Azumi Madrid. She just sailed that one. How else would you expect the Big East <laughs> tournament to go? Manrique lines up to take the lead for the Jays. Just outside Martin's outstretched hand, and Creighton takes the lead. Butler has had in their time, but it's now Emily's chance to tie it up. Terrell saves it. The Blue Jays of Creighton are moving on to the second round to play Georgetown in the semis. They win it in PKs. And Boyd's Maryland awaits the Creighton Blue Jays. All right, thanks, Joey, and congratulations, you guys. It's a hard-fought game. The emotion is going strong. Keelan, how are you feeling after you just saved that last kick? I'm feeling amazing. Um, on top of the world, I love my team so much, and we work so hard to be here. <laughs> Coach, how are you feeling after seeing your girls fight for so long in such a long game today out here in the rain? You know, it was a it was a tough battle uh, between them. They're they're a very talented team. We knew it was going to be a very tough game. Come down to it. penalty kicks. You never want that because it's very tough on the other side. But I'm so proud of the team. They worked so hard to get to here, and they've earned it. They've earned it. They they deserve to be going to the Final Four. Well, congratulations again, you guys. Let's get you out of this rain and get you dried up. Congratulations again, and good luck against Georgetown. Back to you guys. Great job, Andrew. Great job to the 